My name is Danny Oliver. I'm the state adjutant for Oklahoma. And this is our mobile service office. We didn't want to leave out any aspect of military service. We put our fallen soldiers crosses on there to symbolize that we'll also help the widows and survivors of those veterans who are deceased. We didn't leave out any errors that were active. So in the first window, we represent World War II. Then we represent our Korean War veterans. What you see for the big pictures on the vehicle are our Afghanistan Iraqi veterans. We did that because we wanted to make sure that the veterans returning today didn't get lost like we have in the previous war. On the back of the trailer, we wanted to recognize that the real cost of freedom uh, and to ask for support for our, all of our Oklahoma veterans. Moving on to the service side, we wanted to represent the Gulf War veterans. On our floors, this is, uh, we took out the old flooring, and this is uh, Granitex. The walls and our cabinetry are actually covered in Vortex. Vortex is a hardening, uh, it's like a rhino bed liner, uh, but the military uses it. We wanted the younger veterans when they came in and looked around and said, is that Vortex? Because it's something they may have recently seen. Uh, our thinking there was yes. As it protected you over there, we're here to protect your veterans' benefits. Uh, we've probably processed a little over 216 claims so far, and we've only been rolling this out uh, fully completed since uh, the National Convention. We've uh, done a couple of our disasters, natural disasters. We, we're not only able to help them file their initial service claim, we were able to help the veterans before they went down for the first time uh, through the VA's websites pull up the VHA form so when they went down to the hospital to enroll because they were injured uh, they had everything in hand. The reason uh, service work for benefits is so important. Uh, these young families and our older veterans uh, they come to us and some of our World War II veterans have never filed a claim and this is a life-changing experience for them because it because of their age because of their fixed income status uh, a whole new world opens up to them in their final years and the same flip-flop comes right back down to the young iraqi afghanistan veterans it gives them the independence and the stability financially that they can go on now and become productive citizens again I think that's why we had 116 volunteer service officers last year attend our training because that's your thank you. Why do you volunteer to be a service officer? Because when you help just one veteran, whether it's one a day, one a month, one an hour, uh, when they walk away with that new hope in their eye uh, because they know they've come to the right organization and somebody is going to look out and fight for them, you, there's no paycheck that can cover that failure. It was through our efforts and fundraising efforts over the last 10 years that we were able to actually uh, get the funds in the department so we could help sponsor and put together our own mobile service unit. This is in part due to the great partnership we've had with Golden Corral over the last 10 years. And you know, there, you, you just can't say thank you enough sometimes. They have a want to. I, I will say that about Golden Corral. They have a want to to help the disabled American veterans and their families. If you've never been to a military appreciation Monday night, it is packed. It's not only a time for a thank you meal, but it's a time for them to get together and, and swap a few sea stories. We're able to help the disabled American veterans by raising a lot of money to help get them transported to uh, their hospital and their uh, doctor's visits. And also we get to feed our veterans for free and our active duty service personnel for free, which is outstanding. This is something I look forward to all year long. We think about it all year. We, we talk about it all year. It's, some, it's If you have a passion for it, it'll happen. It's a commitment to our veterans and to our military that, that you don't find somewhere else. And of course, being a veteran myself, it's personal.